Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing something a little bit special again because last time we celebrated a hundred subscribers. Thank you again so much for subscribing. And we did Triumph, a great card trick. So go check that out if you haven't seen it already. And I promised that if you gave that video 50 likes, I would do a follow-up video with an easier version in the hands. And you guys delivered, so I am going to keep up my end, of course. So usually, we do tricks and slides from this book, a great book for beginners, Royal Road to Card Magic. But as I said, today we're doing something a little bit special. As I said, thank you so much for subscribing. We're over 200 subscribers now, so that's amazing. So thank you. So let's get into it. Okay, so the spectators can pick any card, any card they want, okay? So let's say you spread out the cards in your hands and they pick Let's say this card, it's the Three of Diamonds. So remember that card. I'm gonna leave it jogged out like so and push it slowly inside the deck. So it's really lost somewhere in the middle of the deck. Okay, so the other night I was at the bar once again and I met this guy who wanted me to show some, some tricks. And I said, okay, and it started up off the exact same way as now. He picked the card returned it to the deck, but then he wanted to shuffle the deck. And he must have been, I don't know, had a beer too much maybe, because he shuffled the cards in the weirdest way. He shuffled them like this, like face down into face up, really sloppy like this, some cards. Yeah, you can see it was a complete, complete and utter mess, really. Okay, so you can see it's like, a lot of face-up cards and face-down cards in the deck, right? So some cards were, again, facing the right direction, face-down. But some cards were face-up. And some cards were even, you know, back-to-back, -back, like this. Luckily, once again, if I snap my fingers, something pretty interesting happens. All the cards are turned the same way except from one single card. So all the cards except from one card, which is the Three of Diamonds. I just want to take a quick break to remind you all that we're going through this book right now on the channel, The Royal Road to Card Magic, one of the best books for beginners. We'll be going through different shuffles like the overhand shuffle and the riffle shuffle and false shuffles and controls as well as classic slides like the classic pass, palms, a double turnover and double lift, but also quick and easy tricks that you can start using today. So make sure to subscribe for more content like this and give the video a like and please comment down below what you think. Okay, on to the tutorial. Okay guys, let's see how I did that. But first, once again, thank you so much for liking the Triumphs video and if you haven't seen it yet, go watch that first because it's a great trick and I think you, you'd like to see it. And now we're over 200 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna say a few things about, I guess you could call it theory, magic theory. So if you're into that, you can stay and listen, otherwise you skip to the next section. I'll timestamp it down below. So in magic, we talk about effect and method. The effect in this video is, or this trick, is essentially the same as the original triumph that we did a week ago or something, which means the, the cards are shuffled face up into face down and then they all turn the same way except from their card their selection the method is completely different so the last time we did what is known as a triumph shuffle and this time i will teach you how to do it's called a sloppy shuffle or a slop shuffle and it's a really easy but convincing shuffle what i want to say with this is that sometimes as magicians we think that the harder or more advanced the method is the better the effect will be. And that is not always the case. It can be, but not always, because we know what's hard and not. And
and we like to show things to other magicians maybe and and we want to impress them maybe but for the layman which in most cases we're doing magic for for them the the effect is basically the same so there are very advanced ways of doing triumph you can actually shuffle the cards into each other and then use like a very advanced spread call or green separation move or something like that to separate them which is very impressive and and very advanced sleight of hand but to the layman the effect is pretty much the same so we have to look through the lenses through the through the glasses of the of the lay layman i think okay so let's move into the tutorial now so as in the last trick this is completely impromptu they can pick any card they want we can shuffle the the deck before with the ogren shuffle or riffle shuffle in the hands let's say they pick this card the seven of hearts in the performance i did what is known as a convincing control but by Ed Marlowe, and we'll talk about that in the future, but that deserves also a video of its own. But you can use, we're going to control this to the bottom. You can watch the, the video I did on the Ovan Shuffle and do the Ovan Shuffle control. So you'd have the card returned to the deck, you'd injog the next card, and you'll, you'd shuffle off, okay? And then form a break at the injog and shuffle to the injog. And now their card is on top, so you'd have to just shuffle it by peeling off one card, their selection, and then shuffle the rest like so. And you'd control their card to the bottom. Another way of doing it is similar to last the last Triumph video with the double undercut. So let's say they return the card to uh, a spread between the hands. In this case, You'd have to get a break underneath their selection. You can do that by simply pushing over that card and then back again and catch a pinky break. We'll talk more about the pinky break in the future, but most of you probably know it. But simply move it over a little bit and back and catch a pinky break. Simply putting the flesh of your pinky into that break and then come over with a spread and now do a double undercut so cuts half of the cards below the break and then the other half and now their card is on the bottom okay so now you control the card to the bottom and here comes the the, the secrets really to this trick the slop shuffle or the sloppy shuffle something like that which simply is this you push over a few cards and you grab them in your right hand. Then you're going to turn your right hand palm down like so. And you're going to continue feeding cards below these cards. So you continue feeding cards below these cards and you kind of catch them with your right thumb. And then you turn the hand face up and you continue feeding cards below, always below. And then you turn over again. You can put feed as many cards or as few cards as possible. Make it look, you know, sloppy, nonchalant. <laughs> In the pattern, I, I used the example of someone who had a beer too much <laughs> or so. But you can do however you want, of course. Okay, so you keep doing this. And when you have only a few cards left, you make sure to have your right hand palm down and feed the last cards underneath. And when you have only one card left, which is their selection, you turn the, the right hand face up and put their card on top. Okay, so what you've done now, and you'll recognize this from the last video on the Triumph, because we have the exact same uh, situation here. Half of the cards face down, half of the cards face up, followed by their selection on top. Let's just go through that one more time. So you feed some cards into your right hand, you turn the right hand over, face or palm down, and you feed some cards underneath, catching it with a thumb, and you turn the cards over again, turn the right hand palm up, feed some cards underneath, and then you just continue alternating like this, making it look, look sloppy and nonchalant, okay? And then when you only have a few cards left, you feed them to the bottom 
and you have your right hand face down and then you when you only have one card left their selection you turn it face up and you put their card on top so what that that makes it look more convincing now because if that was turned up as well you could potentially see that okay all all the cards on top are face up and the cards on the bottom are face down but if you have that on top it looks a lot more convincing and if you want to make sure to you know spread out this a little bit have it look messy uh, to you know and have a nice display of messy cards you could even turn turn over the bottommost card like so to really show okay it's a mess and when you come to square square up the cards you simply turn that card over again and square these cards on top and people won't think about that because the cards in their minds are so tipsy turvy you know so so it's it's such a mess anyway so if one card is turned over here or there it doesn't really matter okay so as i said you're in this again classic triumph formation or situation and now you as in the last triumph video you simply cut you can cut first to the bottom third or so to show that some cards were still you know face down as they should be but some cards were facing face up and now you cut to the natural break these cards are a bit old so it looks like there are more than one break but there is a natural break the cards are bent and put back to back so you can pick up at that natural break and say and some cards were even uh, back to back and from here <coughs> I like to so when I've turned over my right hand I simply put that back but a little bit stepped to the right and then I turn it over like so bookwise you could turn it over like that as well but I like to do it bookwise like so okay so now you've simply turned over all the cards uh, except their selection the seven of hearts and now once again you could show the cards like this uh, all the cards are face down except their selection but as I said in the last video as well I like to show them first face up and show them that only one card is face down so that's the first magical moment and then you can turn everything over and show them that all the cards are face down except from from their card so that's a second ma magical moment you could of course do this as a fan in your hand as well if you don't have a table okay so i hope that covers it so this is great trick but it's a lot of bang for your buck because it's actually it's, it's so easy it's a beginner trick but as i said the effect is still the same and is still as strong and one little extra tip you can do once you've done all the moves you can put the deck in the spectator's hand and make them hold the deck like this and you know come up with some nice patter maybe they imagine all car cards turning over except their cards or something like that but just a nice way of making it in their hands uh, because that's always stronger yeah if you have any questions about it as always make sure to just comment down below and i'll answer them and uh, if you like this leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, we'll continue now soon at least with tricks from this book the royal road to card magic an amazing book so make sure to subscribe for that because it's going to be worth it okay thank you so much for watching bye bye